before we start today's video, I got to tell you a funny quick story. Basically, the moral of this story, where there's a will, there's a way. So yesterday, I was driving in the FRS. It was freezing cold out, and my passenger, or excuse me, my driver's side window froze. So the window wouldn't go down. When I pulled into Dunkin' Donuts, I couldn't get the window to go down. And then later in the day, when it warmed up, all of a sudden, the auto down and auto up feature didn't work, and I couldn't roll down my passenger window. Today, I got in the car, and it just kept getting worse. The windows were just not working. So, you know, I hate when something's wrong with the car, so I got to investigate right away and figure it out. So first off, I'm thinking fuse, but it was weird to me. So you know what I did? I came home, and I did the first thing I do every time. I opened the hood up. I disconnected the battery. I waited about a minute. I hooked the battery back up. I went in the car, and everything worked <laughs> again like normal. Up, Auto up, down on both windows. Everything worked, no problems. The thing about the FRS is it is kind of like a frameless door. So when you go to get out of the car, the window will come down a little bit, and when you shut the door, the window goes back up. That wasn't working, but yeah. So all I did <laughs> was take the battery off, put the battery back on, and everything worked fine again. So basically the moral is, before you do anything crazy about your car, just take the cable off the battery and see if the car will reset everything. It didn't even happen to be a fuse, so that is good news. FRS is working. Now we just gotta deal with the hyper blinker on the Tundra. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another Tundra Dude 34 fan feature. Today we're looking at Tommy's 2017 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro in beautiful cement. So far he has added tinted windows, nerf bars, and a brush guard. The next thing he wants to do are LED headlights for his truck. Nice and simple with a great look. Tommy, thank you so much for submitting your truck. What a gorgeous one. What's going on, everybody? Hope you are having an enjoyable Super Bowl Sunday. It is about 1 p.m. game time, five hours away. I hope you're heading to your parties, and I hope you guys have a great time. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. You know the rules. But today, I want to talk a little bit about the 2019 TRD Pro that is supposed to be released on February 8th, which is Thursday. Now, what I did was I went ahead and I got a little inside information on what may be coming. So I definitely wanted to make this video and get it out there to you so uh, we could do a little bit of a conversation on what you think, if you're satisfied, yada, yada, yada. So here's what I want you to do. As always, pause this video right now and go under in the comments below and let me know what you think will be coming on the 2019 TRD Pro line. We're obviously going to be focusing on the Tundra. So... Pause the video, go below, tell me what kind of equipment you think will be coming on the Tundra. Go. Now, before I start reading some of this information, one of the things for me as a former TRD Pro Tundra owner and as a current owner of a Platinum that I built into a TRD Pro, one of my biggest things when I went from a TRD Pro to this was it needed to have better tires. Um, there were a couple things that the Pro lacked. The Pro was built off of an SR5 trim, so it didn't have a lot of the uh, interior amenities that everybody wanted. Um, there are definitely a few things here and there that kind of didn't make sense. And one thing was the Canadian version of the TRD Pro came with blind spot monitoring, parking assist, moonroof, and heated seats. In the United States, we did not get any of that on our TRD Pro. It was pretty much a basic truck, which a lot of you guys actually like. You like the fact that it is an off-road ready, just basic truck, you know? And I'm with you on that. And that was one of the things I definitely like about it. There's a good amount of time where less is more. The truck looked great. By far one of the best looking Tundras ever made. I loved it. But there were definitely a few things I wanted to see a little bit different on it. And I asked my buddy here and he told me some things to expect. The question I asked is what exact equipment will be on the TRD Pro Tundra? And what was said to me is, not sure on exact equipment, but it will have better all-terrain tires, different shocks, which what I say, probably gonna have Fox shocks. He didn't say different, uh, he didn't say Fox shocks, but that's what I'm thinking. So different shocks and suspension, possibly the hood scoop. I bet you it'll have the hood scoop. Um, and set up a little higher than the previous Pro. 
So what I'm thinking from that statement is set up a little higher, meaning there'll be a little more lift to it. And it's gonna have more of an aggressive all-terrain tire. So this channel actually means something because it sounds like Toyota is listening. Um, I'm glad they heard all of the things I said throughout the years of owning the TRD Pro and owning this, that that truck needed to come with a better tire. It has the Michelin, what is it, the Michelin LTX A2, I believe is what's on there, and it's a Michelin all-terrain, and it actually performs very well, but it just doesn't have the look. If you see the TRD Pros that people have and they put better tires on it, that basically completes the look for sure. And you know, some people like to put crazy big lifts on there. TRD Joe, I'm talking to you. Buddy on Instagram has a great looking quicksand TRD Pro that he put a huge lift on it. Looks good. Um, but yeah, off the showroom floor, they obviously want to have a trail ready Tundra and a trail ready Forerunner in Tacoma, TRD Pro line. But one of the big things they needed for this truck and for the Tacoma was a better all terrain tire. The Forerunner came with Nittos, which actually looks really good. The Forerunner, it looks good and is ready to go. But yeah, Tundra and Tacoma need a better tire. So that is the information I have for you. Like I said, he doesn't know the exact equipment, but um, you know that's kind of the idea of what's going around, what we'll see a little bit different. I don't even know if they're going to be calling it the TRD Pro anymore. I'm sure they will. Um, I don't know if it'll be like a TRD Pro X or you know something like that. But overall, it sounds like they're going to change up the line a little bit, uh, put some different equipment on it, but it'll be the same idea and it will be sought after greatly, just like the last one. And that was the thing I said to somebody else the other day on one of my live streams, is they don't really need to change a lot. The truck was in such demand you could barely get one. A 4Runner TRD Pro is nearly impossible to this day to get one. I think the easiest one to get through the whole time was the TRD Pro Tacoma. But overall, getting a Tundra, TRD Pro Tundra, was very tough. As I told you before, I had a lot of trouble getting mine. Um, but, you know, I got it, and it takes some hard work, but you can get it. It's just you gotta you got to figure it out. But, yeah, it's a great truck to have, and if you're in the market for a Tundra, make sure you check out the TRD Pro line that's coming. I think you will be very, very happy with it. One thing you can expect on the new TRD Pro, which was one of the things we complained about in the last generation TRD Pro, was you're gonna see LED headlights on it that come in the 2018 Tundra. So they'll be there. Uh, LED fog lights will be there. I don't know. I wouldn't expect, I keep telling people this, I wouldn't expect any major changes. Somebody asked me yesterday on the live stream, do you think they'll add push button start for the TRD Pro in 2019? I don't think it'll be stuff like that. I think you're gonna see the same Tundra, but it's gonna have you know, different parts on it. Meaning the TRD Pro was a Tundra with off-road parts on it. This will be the same thing. It'll just have maybe some different, maybe some better parts, but the overall Tundra will stay the same. Same 5.7 liter iForce V8, which bueno engine, not the best gas mileage, but definitely the most fun. Um, you know, you'll still have all the stuff that makes a Tundra a Tundra for now. If you're looking for major change, you got to wait for the 2021 model year, which will come out in late 2020. That's supposed to be the total redesign of the Tundra then. So that's all I got today. Please tell me what you think in the comments below. So it looks like we're going to get a TRD Pro with better tires on it, maybe a little bit higher of a lift, different suspension and shocks. I'm thinking Fox just because the Tacoma has that. So I feel like they would go with the same company, but let me know what you think. If you're wondering what I think about it, I can't wait to see it. Sounds good. Sounds like they've listened over the years of doing this channel. This is the stuff I've always talked about and now it seems to be uh, coming true. So I'm working for you guys. Tell me what you think. Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34. You could also email me at TundraDude34 at gmail.com. Last but not least, my prediction for the Super Bowl will be, I think, let's say Patriots 27-14 will be the game. Patriots winning 27-14. So we shall see. Feel free to put up your guesses in the comments below of this video for the Super Bowl as well. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Enjoy the game.